Hello, I'm Miss Val from the North Brunswick Public Library, and welcome to Story Tots. If you've been to Story Tots before, you know how we always started off with the hello song. So, if you know how it goes, go ahead and sing along. If you don't know how it goes, it is to the tune of Mary Have a Little Lamb. So, it's going to be at least a little bit familiar. It goes like this. Hello, hello, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? How are you today? It's so good to see you guys. Now, I have two very fun and special books for you guys today. They are sequels. A sequel is the second part to something. So, there was a book called Imogene's Antlers that was written many years ago by the same guy, and he wrote a new one called Imogene Comes Back. And the same thing with Will You Be My Friend, the other one that we have. Sam McBratney, many years ago, he wrote Guess How Much I Love You. So we're going to be reading both of these today. So, an Imogene comes back, a little girl wakes up, she's got all of these animal body parts. So, we get to talk about animals and make some fun animal noises. Imogene woke up, wondering what the new day would bring. So there's Imogene in her bed. To wake up with deer antlers was one thing, and to appear with a peacock's tail was quite another. So these are things that happened in the first book. But now it appeared that the parade of peculiarities would go on. What animal parts does Imogene have now? Can you tell? She's got a really long neck because she's a giraffe. Though the family was utterly stupefied, Imogene made the best of things. She can see on really high shelves. Later, she helped a neighbor's frightened kitten down from a tree. Hooray, cheered Lucy, the maid. Wonderful, said the cook, Mrs. Perkins. You could work for the fire department. Every day brought a new surprise. So what does Imogene have now? She's got really big ears. She has a long nose. What is that? Is that, is that an elephant trunk? And what do elephants sound like? An elephant goes, ah! Right? Is that an elephant sound? Ah! Can you make the elephant sound too? <laughs> That's one of my favorite things to do with you guys. I love the elephant sound. When the flowers needed watering, Mrs. Perkins, Mrs. Perkins asked Imogene to help. No hose, she said. Use your nose. Imogene sprinkled the lilies and the lavenders. The lilacs and the lady next door. What was going on? Was Imogene bewitched? Had she eaten an enchanted cookie or swallowed a magic potion? I don't care what it is, Mother bellowed. No child of mine will be a beast, bird, or bug. Now what are we going to do about it? What does Imogene have now? She's got Butterfly wings. I would love to have butterfly wings. She's also really small. Donate her to the zoo, suggested Uncle Alphonse. Send her to art school, offered Father. Enough is enough, Mother howled. Thud. There she goes, she falls over. The next day at breakfast, Father drummed on the table while his eggs slowly turned cold. Uncle Alphonse gnawed at his fingernails. Mother dabbed at her forehead and twisted her hanky into knots. Norman had his camera ready. What would Imogene be today? What do you think Imogene's going to be this time? But there she was, Imogene. Her nose, her face, herself once more. She's back to normal. Everyone rejoiced. Suddenly, bing! Now, Mother.
mother has antlers. Oh! <laughs> she passes out. She can't believe it. And that is the end. What do you think happened? How do you think the mom is going to deal with having antlers? What would you do if you had antlers? Oh. Maybe sometime we'll go back and read the first one together and we'll find out what Imogene did with her antlers. And now this one is, Will You Be My Friend? You guys are all my friends. I love spending time with you guys. And this is about two bunnies. Little Nut Hair Brown wanted to play, but there was much to be done at Big Nut Brown Hair was very busy. Can I go and play by myself? Asked Little Nut Brown Hair. Well, yes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, but don't go too far. I won't, said Little Nut Brown Hair. And off he hopped to explore on his own. Can you hop like a bunny? Hop, 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 hop. I bet you can. Soon he discovered a puddle. There was another hare in the puddle, staring up at him. That's all it did, just stared. You're only another me, said Little Nut Brown Hare. He poked the puddle with his ears and skipped on down the path. It's his reflection, it was a mirror. Then Little Nut Brown Hare spotted his shadow. There it was on the ground, quite still. I'll race you, said Little Nut Brown Hair. Up and away he went, but of course his shadow went too, and just as quickly. You're only another me, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. Still exploring, Little Nut Brown Hair soon came to Cloudy Mountain. What a surprise he found there in the heather. Someone was looking straight at him. Someone real. It's another little bunny. Hello, said Little Nut Brown Hair. My name is Tips, said the Cloudy Mountain Hare. Will you be my friend? Do you want to play? Yes, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I do want to play. Oh, it looks so much fun. They chased each other through the heather. They dug a deep hole and built a pile high. They had tremendous fun together. It all looks like a lot of fun. Is this the kind of stuff you do with your friends? Then they raced up Cloudy Mountain for a game of hide and seek. Tips lay down low in the heather and waited. The heather is these flowers, that's their name. Little Nut Brown Hare hid among the rocks and he waited. He was sure that his friend would come looking for him. He waited for ages until it was time to go home, but Tips didn't come. Where, he wondered, was his friend Tips? Would he see her again? He didn't know. Big Nut Brown Hair was pleased to see Little Nut Brown Hair come home. And how did your exploring go, he asked. Good, it was good exploring, said Little Nut Brown Hair. And then, close by, they heard a noise. Was someone coming? Do you see someone coming? It's a little snow hare, said Big Nut Brown Hare. Now where on earth did she come from? Little Nut Brown Hare smiled. He knew. She's from Cloudy Mountain. Her name is Tips, and she's my friend. Doesn't that look like so much fun? I would love to do stuff like that with my friends. And soon, I hope I can do stuff like that with you guys. Wouldn't that be a lot of fun? Thank you for coming to Story Tots today. I hope you enjoyed the two stories that I had. And someday, maybe we can all read the first book of these two together. Wouldn't that be fun? So, since we're gonna say goodbye for now, what does that mean? We have to sing the goodbye song. Are you ready? It's the same as the hello song, but a little bit different, right? It goes like this. Goodbye, goodbye, see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, see you soon. See you soon someday. 
Goodbye, guys.